what's going on guys welcome back to my channel as you guys can tell by the title we have finally found a big girl bed for Sophia so I just want to get right into it because I'm super excited about this bed and it's so adorable all the links will be in the description box below all right so we got this bed from Ikea this bed retailed for $119 and this bed is considered an extendable bed it pulls all the way out into a twin size you heard me right a twin size and as a mom I'm always trying to save some coin so I was like uh yeah I like this bed let's get it um, we chose the yellow because it just describes Sophia. I felt like how we got the white, how we got the black, it just wouldn't have been fitting. It had to be the yellow one. Um, and she loves it. She actually sleeps in her bed. It was an easy transition. As you guys know, Sophia had a Montessori style bed before. And it was as if we never skipped a beat. At the very beginning, she was kind of looking at it weird. Like, what is this? And then she just kind of just fell in love with it. And now we don't have any issues with her actually sleeping in her bed and stuff like that. But the bed was super easy to put together. Obviously, it was the both of us because we we're trying to put it together and watch Sophia. So that's why you see both of us putting the bed together. Just basically trying to tag team it but the cool thing about this bed is when it's in the toddler size um the railings come up so close that it acts as like um kind of like a safety net for uh kids so they don't fall out of the bed so that's another thing that i love because we didn't have to buy one of those so yeah so super cute this is it fully finished and in the next clip you will see the little bars at the bottom that actually comes with the bed that the mattress sits on top of um another thing that i would really recommend when you are purchasing an extendable bed from ikea is to buy the things that go with the bed like the mattress um the mattress is not traditionally cut or the bed is should i say is not traditionally cut like a toddler size bed or a uh, twin size bed so even if you're like oh well, I have a toddler mattress that's fine I'm telling y'all it's not gonna fit we tried it it was too short um, it wasn't wide enough so yeah the bed is definitely cut differently so I would recommend actually purchasing the extendable mattress and also purchasing the fitted sheets that go with the extendable mattress basically everything ended up coming from target but a select few things this throw came from target her bed set came from target the two end pillows came from target the pillowcase came from target and so did the little watermelon man sitting on top of the pillowcase or the pillow came from target as well and this little pillow in the center came from ikea it actually went with one of their bed sets but we wanted to keep it because we ended up not getting her bed set from ikea we got her bed set on clearance at at Target and it was exactly the color that I was looking for um, her rug came from Target as well and we actually got this rug on clearance surprisingly I want to say like the rug was like five or like eight and some change off of clearance and we also got her little basket um, off of clearance as well and I think the basket was like 13 and some change so right now we've just been keeping her um, stuffed animals with well, some of her stuffed animals in the basket now her bed set is a twin size. Anything smaller than that is not gonna fit the bed, even at its like toddler state. So it's kind of frustrating because we have a lot of extra fabric that we really, really have to tuck. But I think what I'll probably end up doing is just altering it. I'll probably just get it cut and then get my sister to just like sew it. Because I feel like as she gets older, we'll probably tweak it and change it. So I feel like it's no big deal to like cut it and do all of that extra stuff. So just a word of advice, if you was to do this, you would probably have to get a twin. But I think what we might end up doing is switching it up and getting like a super cute, like oversized throw. And I think that'll be ideal, especially for the um, summertime as well. And this nice little detailing on the wall. She has to have a night light and I like it bright enough where I can see her from the other side of the room. These are little cactuses that came from the patio section as well. And I don't know, I just was going with like a certain type of theme and vibe. So obviously this is before she had a Montessori style bed and it worked for many years and now we are in our big girl's bed. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed 
I'll try to put links to everything down below. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we will see y'all in our next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.